The Danish royal house has started to make decisions to reduce the noise after the controversy surrounding Prince Frederick. First, Margaret II decided not to publicize the royal family's traditional hunt at Friedensborg Palace. It seemed that it would take time to build up a new image of the family again, but yesterday everything changed. Prince Christian turned 18 on October 15, and as heir to the throne, he also has the procedures necessary to assume responsibility. This Tuesday, the eldest son of Federico and Mary signed his commitment to respect the Constitution. An act in which his parents and grandmother, who reappeared after the publication of photos of his father with Genevieve Casanova in Madrid, could not be missing. It was a strict and solemn ceremony, very different from the one Leonor had when her turn came. Only Margarita and Federico were present during the swearing-in, because they are the ones who give him the authority he must accept. In the Council of State Hall at Christiansborg Castle, His Royal Highness Prince Christian today made a solemn declaration of his intention to respect the Constitution. This is a prerequisite for the appointment of the prince as head of state in the event that both Her Majesty the Queen and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince are unable to lead the government, the statement reads. From now on, the prince can participate in the Danish Council of State, which he addressed for the first time yesterday. His mother, Mary, had driven to Christiansborg Palace minutes earlier in a company car. He waited in the next room and assumed a formal pose. The situation was different from what his father had experienced in 1986. At that time his father, Prince Henrik, was not present because only the Queen was going to accompany him. On that occasion, Mary set up a different profile than she did then and decided to act as a mother in such an important moment for him. It wasn't something that was announced in advance. It shows that he wants to be there for his son on this historic day for him. It's really unusual, but it shows how dedicated she is as a mother. On that fateful day, Mary knew all eyes would be on her. All she had to do was flaunt her elegance and know how to be, she was Felipe and Letizia's host and had a similar stance to that shown by the Danish royal household in their statement. For many years we have had a policy of not commenting on or confirming any details regarding private matters. Furthermore, we would like to emphasize our commitment to respect the privacy of members of the royal family, including the crown prince. However, the moment they said goodbye to the royals, the Australian disappeared. Her place seems to have been taken by Mary of Denmark. Frederick of Denmark continued his program of events while Mary distanced herself from the public sphere. This distance shows the immense pain and sadness that these images caused Mary Donaldson. The Australian needs time to digest this information before facing public exposure again. He has reappeared only to accompany his son Christian on an important day such as the swearing-in of the Danish constitution. The personal events are attended by Princess Mary of Denmark. This Wednesday, Joaquin's wife from Denmark attended the world's largest brain research conference currently underway in Washington, D.C. There she visited representatives from the Danish Center for Neuro Research at Aarhus University Hospital and got a glimpse of research from the Center for Brain Diseases. In addition, the princess also met with two young Danish researchers from the center who spoke about their work, according to the Danish royal household. Mary Donaldson exudes style in her comeback appearance. Her attendance has not been confirmed, but Mary Donaldson couldn't miss the big day for her son Christian, 18. A month after reaching adulthood, his eldest son faced an act similar to the swearing-in of the Constitution, which Princess Leonor did just a few weeks ago. The event took place at Christiansborg Castle. It was a historic day. For the first time, three generations coincided at the Council of State at the same time. Queen Margaret had banned the press from the event, but thanks to images that the royal household circulated through their social media accounts, we were able to see Princess Mary's reappearance. She looked visibly calm as she posed with her husband. This is a family image that seeks to show their unity and resolve the controversy raised by the images published by lecturers. For the occasion, Mary opted for a total white look consisting of wide, high-waisted pants combined with a simple blouse with ties and a closed neckline. The look was completed with a delicate blue lapel-esque coat with slightly flared sleeves, decorated with a brooch on the lapel. Mary and Mary of Denmark, a duel of princesses. 
Their relationship, as they themselves have confirmed, is complicated. It starts with Federico and Joaquin's relationship. They have different personalities, and this has made them maintain a warm but distant relationship. They have no common interests or group of friends. In fact, their paths diverged even further when they got married. Their women were unable to change that dynamic. There is an obvious crisis between the families and the royal palace. Prince Joaquin's family has had enough. They feel they are being mistreated. And they're taking off their masks. It's time to call things what they are, explained the journalist and historian. Jacob Heinel Jensen, just a few days ago, when he spoke about the scandal caused by Margaret II's decision to strip Joachim's four sons of their princely titles. 